Okay, here is a. Off. Here is a simple way to make a manipulative proof of the Pythagorean theorem. Uh, what you need is a straight edge, a uh, magic marker, pencil, and, and uh, four uh, just plain old index card. Four identical, well actually six, because you get four to make the bottom. Um, and this will we'll go like this. We'll go uh, uh, A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B. So this square here has size A plus B. Um, and that's, that'll be like our our reference area. And I took uh, some post-it notes to put on there to see, make it a different color. Then we take uh, two more index cards and you just do a diagonal. Like that. Like that. Cut that. And then we'll mark this. Uh, maybe I'll use the back side here. Yeah, I'll use the back side. Um, now remember, we had the long side here was A, so we'll mark this A, and this is B, and then we'll take the hypotenuse of this right triangle and we'll call that C. Oh, bloody, I did it on the wrong side. Um, okay, let's try that again. A, B, and C. And we'll do the same with this one. Long side was A, short side was B, and the hypotenuse is C. Okay, there's one set. And then grab another card, do the same thing. And do a diagonal. And you can do fancier ones where you actually use a uh, something more uh, mathematically friendly, like a three, four, five triangle. So this could be um, three inches. Let's see, three inches, four inches, and five inches, and then um, then you'll get some nice. Uh, it, the mathematics works out really nice. Um, you don't have to take square roots or anything, you, have, you know, just because the way the math works out, everything's everything's uh, perfect squares. Um, a, B, hypotenuse C, A, B, hypotenuse C. Okay, so as long as all of the triangles are completely on your working area here, and move around like that. Um, the area of yellow, as long as you've got all these guys completely on the, on your um, base plate or your reference square, um, the amount of yellow exposed is always the same. So now what we could do is let's make some squares, because squares are easy. We know how to measure squares. We know what the area of a square is. It's A times A, or A squared. So let's make some squares. 
We'll put these back together again like that. Put this over here. Let's see, go like that. I'll make another thing here. Go like that. Okay, so now the all the triangles, all the right triangles are completely on the reference area. Now the area of this square here is B times B or B squared. And this area here is A times A or A squared. So we have this area is A squared plus B squared is equal to something. Okay, so uh, what we can do is let's see if we can make another square somehow because squares are easy we don't you know a squared plus b squared is the total area of yellow that's exposed so now we'll go like this maybe go like that and then go like this and now we've got all the triangles are completely on the reference square and lo and behold, the area of this, uh, it's a square, look at that, how about that? C times C is C squared. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. We have just proved the Pythagorean theorem. Woohoo! Praise the Lord!